In 1964, an Irish physicist, John Bell, published a mathematical paper proposing a way to test for hidden variables. His work is called Bell's Theorem, or Bell's Inequalities. It was based on entangled electrons and stern gerlich apparatus spin detectors, but will use the more easily managed particles, photons, and polarized lenses. Bell's idea was to assume Einstein's hidden variables hypothesis is true and then show how it leads to a contradiction. This would prove that the hidden variables hypothesis is false. The best way to understand Bell's theorem is to use Venn diagrams from basic set theory. Here's a simple Venn diagram example. Consider the set of all people in a town, say, Paris, Illinois, who go out on a particular rainy day wearing a hat. Some of these people are also wearing gloves. This would be a subset of the whole. Now we count the number of people with hats, and we count the number of people with hats and gloves. If the number of people with hats and gloves is greater than the number of people with hats, you have a contradiction, a violation of the basic assumption. The assumption that they are counting people in the same town on the same day must be false. For example, this violation could happen if the count for hats was indeed taken in Paris, Illinois, but the count for hats and gloves was taken in Paris, France. Bell's thought experiment involves sending photons through polarized filters. If a photon passes through a filter, it is referred to as passed. If it's blocked, it is referred to as failed. The probability that a photon will pass or fail depends entirely on the angle between its polarization state and the filter's polarized state. Here we have three tests, A, B, and C. Test A sends vertically polarized photons into a vertically polarized filter. Test B sends vertically polarized photons into a filter polarized at an angle theta. And test C sends vertically polarized photons into a filter polarized at an angle 2 theta. Now the object of the exercise is to examine the role of Einstein's entangled particle hidden variables hypothesis. So we'll use quantum entangled photons along with the assumption that interacting with one of them does not change the state of the other. Now consider the three sets. Set A of all the tests that pass test A. Set B of all the tests that passed test B. And set C of all the tests that passed test C. Notice where they overlap and where they don't. Here's the subset A not B and B not C. When we combine them, you can see that A not C is a subset. From set theory, we know that the number in A not B plus the number in B not C must be greater or equal to the number in A not C. This is the famous Bell inequality. Remember that our assumption is that the states of the entangled particles depend only on their original hidden variables and cannot change just because there was a measurement taken on the other particle. The test was done with theta equal to 22.5 degrees. We cannot yet entangle more than two particles, so the tests were done in three phases. In the first phase, they sent 100 vertically polarized entangled photons into vertically polarized lens A. All 100 passed through. None were blocked. The entangled photons then entered lens C, polarized at 45 degrees. 50 passed through, and 50 were blocked. So the number in A not C was 50. In the second phase, they sent 100 vertically polarized entangled photons into vertically polarized lens A. And as before, all 100 passed through. The entangled photons then entered lens B, polarized at 22.5 degrees. 85 passed, and 15 were blocked. So the number in A not B was 15. 
In the third phase, they ran 100 vertically polarized entangled photons into lens B, polarized at 22.5 degrees, 85 passed through, and 15 were blocked. The entangled photons then entered lens C, polarized at 45 degrees, 85 passed, and 15 were blocked. So the number in B not C was 15. Bell's inequality equation reads that 30 is greater than or equal to 50, which is false. So the assumption that a changed entangled electron has no impact on its entangled partner is false. Therefore, there are no hidden variables as Einstein had proposed.